Good morning guys and welcome to today's video. Yes, this is Christmas. You see in front of you, in the Ray Dunn world, Christmas has already began. So today's video is going to be a collection of Ray Dunn items and home decor kind of mixed together. It's a little bit for everyone. I wanna show you that my cup of the day is food coma. I had a, din a dinner party last night, had family over, and I'm feeling like I'm in a food coma even today. Um, after the decor and haul part of this video, I did um, record some clips of the Ray Dunn pieces and home decor that I used for the dinner party. Um, and I even cooked with the Ray Dunn, so if that kind of thing interests you, I'll put that at the end. Okay, so um, let's just jump right in. I'm gonna show you what I have so far in front of me that I've collected this season. It's October 2019, in case you're watching this into the future. Um, this Green Believe mug came out. I have this topper that I purchased. I'll link that um, Facebook farmhouse Ray Dunn um, decor group down below in case you want to purchase something like this. I do have a video coming where I show how to make toppers. And then there's this adorable apple. It's by the same seller and creator of this. And then in the center, I have the Believe Tis the Season and Merry Christmas bowls from Ray Dunn. I got these online at TJ Maxx before they stopped selling online. Back here we have the Ho Ho Whisk. And obviously my little um, guy back here is taking a nap. And then we have the little mini Holly Jolly um, Christmas ornaments. And someone mentioned in the comments, I've hauled this stuff before, I'm just kind of showing you what my display behind me is, that these are not food and beverage safe. These are display only. So that makes me a little bit sad. They returned theirs because they said they were like too heavy to hang on a tree. So just thought I'd get that out there. And then we have this beautiful Santa's cookies. And then I have my light up tree. And then Merry Christmas, which I put on with the de decal. And this is um, like the trash can that Ray Dunn sells. I got that from the Sierra.com website. Okay enough with what's around me and let me show you what I've gotten. Guys, I wanted to show you this massive candle before I fire it up. Um, I got this at TJ Maxx, $24.99 and this thing is huge and it's in like this galvanized metal tin. And this, like, this is my hand. This thing is huge and it has four wicks and it's spiced apple and it smells like apples and cinnamon. I am so <laughs> excited to light this thing. Okay, so one of the first things I got was this tray. I found this at Hobby Lobby. It kind of reminds, it has that distressed look to it. It kind of reminds me of a sled. I like that it doesn't have a really tall lip on it. Um, that way when you display your things, you don't have to kind of stack them up on things so you can see them. I found this at Hobby Lobby. $29.99 with 40% off because it's in their um, holiday decor section. Also from Hobby Lobby, I found this, um, it is porcelain snowman with a great big mouth he was $24.99 with 40% off and I thought this would be great um, for a coffee bar to put coffee pods in for like your Keurig. At TJ Maxx I found some great holiday um, coffee pods. We have cinnamon sticky bun, coconut caramel, salted caramel coffee, toasted coconut, apple pie, and salted caramel. Oh guys, how cute is that? That is adorable, I love it. Next up, I found Merry Christmas. It's all red with white writing. TJ Maxx, $5.99. This thing is beautiful, I love it. In a previous video, I showed my Believe Cup, 
and how pretty are those together? That red and green together are amazing. Added a topper to that that I made. My lord, that is so pretty. I also found Tis the Season with the red inside. This is from Marshalls, $5.99. No, TJ Maxx, sorry, $5.99. And I, I just, I really like the black writing. It just seems really bold and really stands out. Added a topper to that. Guys, I'm all about the toppers. I think they're so adorable. At Marshall's, I found this baby little gumdrops canister. I'd seen pictures online and in videos, but I didn't realize how tiny it is. It's not a bad thing. I love how little it is. Let me compare it to another canister. Okay, here's the Santa's cookies compared to the gumdrops. So it's pretty tiny. It's so cute. Can't really see the side. It has that red writing on it. Okay, so next up, this big bag over here is actual gumdrops. I thought, how cool would it be to put actual gumdrops in this canister? I ordered this from Amazon. I'll link it down below. Guys, how pretty and magical is that? Next thing I found was this head gift wrapper, little plaque like you can put wherever you're gift wrapping. This I found at Hobby Lobby for $7.99 with 40% off. I also picked up some wrapping paper from Hobby Lobby. These were $8.99 with 40% off. These are so pretty. And then last but not least, I found this um, holiday gift set of dog mom and dog dad in this adorable striped um, box. Found this at TJ Maxx for $9.99. I got so excited when I found these guys. I did a video clip. Um, I'll insert it um, in the next clip. But um, I'm going to give this to my um, dad and his wife. They um, are definitely dog mom and dog dad. And they will really love this for Christmas. Okay, guys. Um, keep watching if you want to see my um, video that I recorded where I did some entertaining with my Ray Dunn pieces. All right, um, thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Turn on that notification bell so you know when I've uploaded a video. Thanks for watching. Hi guys, I'm having a dinner party um, in a couple days and I've just kind of started setting up my tablescape and incorporating my Ray Dunn. So here are my plates. It's October, so I thought, I mean, these are a little bit Thanksgiving-ish, but I like it. It's just family, so um, it'll be fun. They'll enjoy seeing it. And then I'm gonna have my flameless candle here. I'm gonna add stuff to the table. I have my witch here. And I have like our formal glasses out. Okay, and then over here on my hutch, I wanted to keep it really simple. I set out all the glasses for everyone. We drink wine, so I've got this Hocus Pocus, I need wine to focus. And then I'm gonna light my Hocus Pocus candle over here, and then I have my Ray Dunn Boo canister. So this is what I have so far. I thought I would show you bits and pieces, and I'm going to cook with my Ray Dunn cookware that I got. I also have this stand that I got from Pier 1 and this pumpkin kind of reap type of thing back here in the corner. On the other side is a wreath that won't stay up on my door outside. And then behind my formal table I have my Hocus Pocus coffee bar set up. We'll have coffee later. For here I have my 
my witch's broom. Okay, to my coffee station, I added a mug here, which I didn't have, and then I had one missing back here. And then down here, right beside it, I have this little shelf, and I have four cups. I'm trying to not overdo it with the Ray Dunn and just kind of add pieces in here and there and just kind of keep it simple. I thought that was really cute. Oh, and then I added my scaredy cat pitcher um, to the coffee bar too. And then over here in the corner, I set up a card table and put this really cute cloth um, spider web tablecloth on it. And I'm gonna make this like a dessert table and use my Ray Dunn pieces um, to decorate this table. So back in the corner, I put this black um, glittery placemat, Home Goods, and then I put my Hocus Pocus cake stand. Um, and I'm gonna get some cupcakes to put on here. And I don't know if you guys know this trick or not, but if you take a, a, a big glass um, bowl, like mixing bowl, like I think mine's like Pyrex or something, you can turn that upside down to create a dome for your cake. I do that a lot with cheesecake. I also put out my spells and potions with some Kit Kats. Everybody loves Kit Kats around here. Okay, I added my thankful platter to the table and my thankful bowl that matches this stuff. We're gonna have ham and then I'm gonna put fruit salad in that. I added my witch I got from Target. She's so cute. Okay, so I changed my mind. I forgot about my haunted birdhouse by Ray Dunn, so I'm gonna put that there. I'm, you guys, I'm probably gonna change things a million times. My original plan was to do my three-tiered tray here, but it's too big and you're not gonna be able to talk to people, you're not gonna be able to see around it. But for every day, I'm gonna put the three-tiered tray on the table. I decided to add this cat with the witch's hat and the little green witch's brew back there um, next to the broom where my coffee bar is. I thought that looks really cute. Okay guys, I am going to try and get this cupcake cake onto um, my witch platter. I thought I would do it on camera and see how it works out. Okay, I'm gonna try and use the paper. Oh, it's cardboard. This is gonna be a lot easier than what I thought. I thought it was gonna be something very dramatic. Okay, so there we go. <laughs> that wasn't hard at all. Um, so it does fit on there. And then I'm just gonna cut the cardboard um, around this so then it'll look cute on here. Okay, so there we have it. It's a like a big candy corn cupcake cake on my Hocus Pocus cake stand. That looks super cute. I have a really pretty cake topper, but I don't think it's going to fit over it. It's not. I'm trying to figure out how to cover it up. I have a big glass bowl that I sometimes set over stuff. I'm going to look for that and see if that works. Okay, well, I just used the lid <laughs> that came with the cupcakes. But that's really cute, you guys. It came out perfectly. If you had single cupcakes, it would show off the platter a little bit more, the witch underneath there, but it's still really cute. Guys, I loved using all of this Ray Dunn tableware. It all just turned out so cute. All of the bowls and um, I don't know. I, I mean, I think I enjoyed it more than anyone else. <laughs> Um, my son and his wife had never even heard of Ray Dunn. Okay, guys, if you have watched to the very end, we're going to play a little game. Going to do a little giveaway time. So, I'm giving away, right now, Merry Christmas, Believe, Tis the Season, A Gobble Birdhouse, and Happy Fall, y'all. Okay, so we're going to have five winners. You are not going to know what you get until it comes to you in the mail. However, 
the holiday mugs are going to be wrapped in that wrapping paper back there. So when you open your box, you'll know that you got one of the holiday mugs. I also have this happy fall y'all and a gobble birdhouse. Um, I ended up getting two gobble birdhouses from TJ Maxx online. So I have an extra one and I, I thought, you know what, you guys live in areas where it's really hard to find this stuff and I've been super fortunate and I just wanna share the love and I appreciate everyone watching my videos and commenting. I just really enjoy talking to everyone so I wanna give back to you guys. Okay guys, if you open your package, if you're one of the winners and you get a striped box inside the box, you know you got one of the Christmas mugs. Okay guys, so I have the three Christmas mugs wrapped up. I just want to say that I'm when I get the five people that win, I'm going to fill out the address labels um, and mix them up so I'm not going to know who gets what and then I'm going to put them on the package. Okay. So, the first five people down in the comments below to type Merry Christmas will win one of these. Ready, set, go.